you know, don't be out there being desperate. I've never seen a flower being desperate for bees. The bees just come because it's just being itself. It's just being to the best of its ability. It's being what it was born to do to bloom. So why can't you do the same? Why can't you learn to do what you were born to do? My dream. I go beyond the fears and limitations of other people. I am a multiple. You know, for as much as we blossom, we are not blossoming and blooming at the same time. We don't open up at the same time. We don't get to get our glory to be revealed at the same time. And such is life. You get what I'm saying. And so it means now then when now you are seeing your neighbor or someone else blossoming before you you just have to hold on and be patient because impatience is what kills us at the end of the day imagine a flower seeing that other flower saying you know what this one blossom let me be jealous and kill them no wait for your turn your turn will come, your time to shine will come. You just have to rejoice with that other person, you know. And your time will come at the end of the day. Your time will come. Why do you have to be jealous of other people? Because, you know, jealous will kill you. I believe that jealousy is the beginning of witchcraft. We don't want to be witchcraft at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen. That's not a healthy way of life. You have to celebrate other people's wins, man. Your time will come. Your time for glory will come. Provided that you are putting in the work. Provided that you are doing what is supposed to be done at the end of the day. So don't be jealous when you see other people bloom before you. You know. Another thing about that I've learned is all you have to do is grow at the end of the day. All you have to do is grow. All you have to do is do the right things at a consistent basis, man. That flower is there, you know, basking in the sun at a consistent basis at the end of the day. I've never had a flower giving up because, you know, of circumstances. A flower strives to make it out there at the end of the day. Yes, some may have been died around that area, but that flower died trying, you know. I'd rather die on my way to greatness than live an average, man. You just have to have that agriculture spirit, man. I mean, you cut a tree right now, tomorrow it will come back. It will keep on growing. You cut some grass. That is why the lawn mowing business is out there at the end of the day because the grass keeps on growing. The grass doesn't say at the end of the day, ah, because they have cut me, let me stop growing. The grass just keeps on growing at the end of the day. So we must have that attitude in life at the end of the day, despite circumstances. Because those flowers, they have survived a lot of seasons. Winter came, summer came, rainy seasons came, you know, autumn came, you know, but that sign that flower never complained at the end of the day so we must be like that flower have that perseverance spirit that resilience spirit and just keep on growing just keep on doing what we're supposed to do without murmuring and complaining man and one day we'll find ourselves to blossom we'll find ourselves blooming at the end of the day and bees will come after us at the end of the day yeah same applies to relationships you get what i'm saying when in a relationship don't try to force people to love you and like you yes you may if, especially when you're singing you don't try to you know attract people out there no 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 just work your life just work your life honey just work your life from faith to be in a position where you actually do things that will cultivate your success, you
cultivate success habits in your life, man, and you'll attract the right people in your life. You just have to work on yourself and the right people will come because people are after everything that glitters. You will end up glittering at the end of the day because you are working on yourself, man. You know, don't be out there being desperate. I've never seen a flower being desperate for bees. The bees just come because it's just being itself. It's just being to the best of its ability. It's being what it was born to do to bloom. So why can't you do the same? Why can't you learn to do what you were born to do and see boys being attracted to you? If you are a guy, see girls being attracted to, to you. Why can't you do that yourself? Instead of being jealous or not, the rest of your friends or that are being, you know, why don't you do the same thing then? If all they do is bath, why don't you bath? If all they do is work out their careers, you know, being, you know, Proverbs 21 women and doing all those habits of a Proverbs 21, I mean, 31, <laughs> Proverbs 31 <laughs> women, why don't you do the same thing and be able to attract those the makeup tutorials? Why don't you do the same thing? And you will attract. There is such a thing as the law of attraction at the end of the day. So you have to just be yourself, do you, and you will attract the right stuff. Even us who are hustling, man, just do your grind. Do what you have to do. And you will attract sponsors without having you to preach something out there. People will be attracted to you. Sponsors will come to you. People will give you cars for free to, to, so that you, you, you advertise them. People will give you clothes for free to advertise them. Why? Because you are blooming like that flower. Be like that flower, man. Be like a flower. All you have to do is bloom. All you have to do is work on yourself. And you will attract the success that is in the world, the success that you need, the success that you envy your friends that are already having, your friends and family members and all those things are already blooming. You don't want to do what you are capable of. You want to be jealous and envious over them. And while you are doing yourself, you are suffocating yourself, you are to actually die. You know, the bees don't come to dead flowers, honey. They come to be to, to, to flowers that are alive, are colorful, they are vivid, they are bright. They are just, all they have to do is just be there. And the bees get mesmerized. Good things will come to you when you do great in life. Not when you are murmuring and complaining and jealous and envious and all those things. That's negative energy. You will repel good things from coming to you. Stop being selfish. Cheer for other people when they make it in life, man. So you just have to make sure that you learn, man. That those are the lessons that I have learned. But just by saying the bees coming for those flowers, man. So let us have the attitude of the flower and work on ourselves and blossom and bloom. Let us not be jealous when you see people blossom. Our time is going to come. Let us just be consistent in doing great things because you'll end up being a dead flower at the end of the day and nothing attracts gets attracted by a dead flower at the end of the day you just have to be a flower be that flower man learn from the flower man be in a position where you just work on yourself work on your goals work on your dreams go to school if you must attend courses if you must work on your craft if you must just do whatever you have to do go to exercise it consistent if you have to and you will attract the right people and the right stuff the good stuff in your life you get what i'm saying at the end of the day we do need each other man just as the flowers need each other for cross-pollination at the end of the day man. you know the flowers we do need each other man we 
don't know each other as well, man. If there be competition, let it be a healthy one, a con- constructive competition, man. Not the one that is filled with envy and jealousy and all those things. You know, so that we can all grow and be able to be in a position where we're all happy at the end of the day and we fulfill the very purposes that we're trying to fulfill in life, man. It's been another great episode of Motivo, man. Don't forget to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you on my other video, man. Cheers.